dude, you know how bad I want to see like a gritty Kirby reboot? Oh yes. <laughs> like like gritty dark like he has a beard now and like, <laughs> like I would love to see that. <laughs> I don't really know. I would buy that instantly. He, he like, yeah, he's completely abandoned the swallowing gimmick. He literally just carries guns. Yeah, he just has a gun. No, he opens his mouth because he has guns stored inside him, and he just pulls out whichever one he needs at that time. Yeah, no, he just transforms into different weapons. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He's transcended stealing powers. He's become a power. Now, I the thing the thing with Kirby though. I mean, like, I'm I'm half joking but half serious. Is that like. When I looked at Star Allies, and I played the demo of it, which, by the way, did not impress me even a little bit, but when, when I played Star Allies, I was like, okay, but this doesn't feel any different from playing, like, you know, Escape from Dreamland or Adventure to Dream... What the... Oh, man, the one about Dreamland. I forget the name of... The full name of it. Um, which one, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> That's true. Um, but, you know, it, it still feels like the same formula. Like, yeah, sure, it looks better, better. It looks very pretty. And you get three AI companions that literally do all the work for you. So you never have to, like, you just need to move. And they kill everything, which I've gone through the first level like that in the demo. Um, but, you know, there, there isn't enough to change where it feels, like, new and interesting. Like, God of War changed a lot. One, it changed the camera perspective. It changed the weapon you use, which, by the way, felt great. Um, it changes the dynamic of, like, Kratos' relationships with other characters. You know, there was a lot that was different. But Kirby has kind of been stagnant, where, like, he still eats people. That's, that's it. <laughs> yeah.